डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स दिस इज द फोर्टी फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ माई ट्रांसिकल सीरीज विच विल बी फर्दर फॉलोड अप डियर फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल माइट बी यू ऑल माइट हैव गॉन थ्रू माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज इन विच आई हैव कवर्ड बिल्डिंग्स ओवर एड टैंक्स ब्रिजेस even air field pavements but what was missing in my series was i did not cover any of the topic related to roads therefore i decided to introduce you to the subject topic roads by first of all introducing you to the topic embankment construction specification for roads as per section 305 of mrth specifications what does mrth stand for is ministry of road transport and highways specifications for roads and bridge works so dear friends you all might be knowing ki whenever we have to construct a road we prepare its subgrade subbase embankment etc so this lecture i will be in this lecture i will be covering about the subject topic construction of embankments which may include subgrades or then shoulders and miscellaneous back face so as per this clause what are the physical requirements of the material constituent by which this embankment is being made or rather is being suggested by this code by this ministry of road transport highway specifications is that there can be soil muram gravel any reclaimed pavement material ply ash or pond ash or a mixture of these or as decided by the concerned engineer in charge but subject to the condition that this soil material this backfill material all these materials shall be free of logs stumps roots rubbish or any other material likely to deteriorate or which may deteriorate during its lifetime which in turn may create any cavity or subsidence of the roads or sliding of the roads embankments road embankments or rather to say in order they can affect the stability of the road embankment embankment of the road proposed embankment of the road so now what are the unsuitable materials which should definitely be excluded from this material are swamps marshes and logs or bogs etc etc peat log rather to say any organic kind of soil stump any perishable material or oil oi oh or pt which i have already discussed in one of my introductory first or second lecture as per is 1498 that is this o stands for organic clay organic matter of low plasticity oi of medium plasticity and compressive oh organic matter of high plasticity and compressive so these kind of soils should definitely be avoided that is they in any case should not be allowed to be used as a material for road embankments what should, should other things be excluded is any susceptible spontaneous combustion material or clays with liquid limit greater than 50 and plasticity index greater than 25 and as well materials with salts the soil which may consist of any harmful salts like carbonates bicarbonates chlorides sulfates or with ph value which may be a deterrent for the construction of the roads rather to say any material with salts which may result in leaching of the embankment they should also be avoided after that any expensive soil i have already discussed with you in two of my lectures about the expensive soils the soils in which due to any 
moisture variation, seasonal moisture variation, the soil may shrink or swell. That is the expansive kind of soils, which is also called a black cotton soil. So these kind of soils should definitely be avoided while using the them as a embankment material of the roads. That is, these soils with free soil index greater than 50% as per IS 2720 part 40 uh, this board, Indian Standard Code is being used for this soil index test. These kind of soils should be avoided. Another thing is material with soluble sulphates greater than 1.9 gram of sulphates per liter or material with total sulphates as SO3 to be mentioned greater than 0.5% by mass should also be avoided. These two kind of material this code has specified they should be at least 500 meter away from either end of the road perpendicular to the road. And these are tested as per British Standard 1377 Part 3. And now, what is important is that the size of the course material to be used for these embankment construction <coughs> should net not at all be greater than 75 mm for embankments. 75 mm. And should not at all be greater than 50 mm for construction of subgrade material for construction of subgrades. Up now, in the end, what I wish to say is this: is that this code has specified the minimum density requirements of embankment and subgrade materials, excluding rather to say this this material used for embankment construction should always exclude any cinder of ply ash. That is the embankments with 3 meter height and which are not inundated, not flooded. They should have at least maximum dry density of 15.2 kN per meter cube. Then the second case is the embankments greater than 3 meter height or of any height inundated for long periods. They should have at least minimum maximum dry density of 16 kN per meter cube. And for subgrades and earthen shoulders, verges or any backfill, this maximum dry density is minimum requirement is 17.5 kN per meter cube. And this is being tested as per Indian Standard Code 2720 Part 8. Iske what other most important factor which I wish to explain you all is, ki in these very conditions, there are certain minimum CVR value California varying ratio test value specifications for these embankments to be built which I will be discussing in one of my further future lectures also I would be discussing with you the bare minimum test line of test which need be tested for flexible pavements that is for roads what I wish to say, if your minimum CVR value criteria as per design is not being fulfilled for the kind of soil, the material which you are using for your embankment for that very particular road, then we need to stabilize, that, stabilize them by suitable methods which are being mentioned in section 4 and 3 and 4 and 4 of this road specifications, Ministry of Road Transport specifications for road individuals, which I may be covering in one of my future lectures. Hope dear friends, this first lecture in my series about roads, that is flexible pavements, must have induced certain kind of, uh, you say, hope that I would also be covering about roads. Hope you have liked this lecture of mine. Keep on sharing and subscribing to my, sharing my lectures and subscribing to my channel, YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.